So the next one I'll be talking about is my thoughts on Nintendo Direct. <coughs> Excuse me. The latest one. Did they offer something good that interests me or not? I'll talk about it. But before that, I want to do a basically follow up on Amiibo. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Uh, so if you're basically Juno, this hold on da, da, da. February 28th I'm too sorry whoops um, brain fart there <laughs> February 28th I went out trying to go to a Best Buy like 15 minutes early to try to attempt to get a Meta Knight Amiibo because I couldn't really pre-order it uh, fortunately that kind of failed there were too many people were, people were trying to do it and some of them apparently they were there like an hour early and they were giving out tickets so unfortunately I failed to get one, but they do give you a consolation prize, which is they'll give you a paper, a ticket paper, just say, you know, I'm looking for uh, a Man and Amiibo, can I get one? If they say no, well, I heard there's like a ticket for people who's trying to get it, like $5 off on Wii U or 3D, a 3DS game, so I decided just to use it, might as well. Decided to buy Fantasy Life, I heard that game is good. I was either that in my best buy they didn't have a lot of selections. So I was thinking either Fantasy Life or Pokemon Academy Art Academy. I just end up with Fan Fantasy Life because I heard people say that's a good game, so I'll just check it out. But anyway, went there because I pre ordered a Mega Man there, so I got a Mega Man. I'm happy with the Mega Man, but yeah, a lot of people are trying to get Meta Knight. Unless, I mean, I saw a lot of Meta Knight there, but the problem were, were they were like reserved for pre orders. And for non pre orders, they were only, from what I heard in my local Best Buy, were like 5 to 7. So, kind of fortunate. And again, I mean, in the Nintendo website, in their Amiibo section, they did say that at launch it is going to be exclusive, but in the long run, it might be another store. So, I heard that, I hope that is true, but I know Bill Trenton did say the same thing. So, hopefully in the wrong, that would be a great news if that is true. So, yeah, I mean, it's still crazy. And the fact is, guess what? Rosalina, Shulk, Lucario, and Meta Knight. The four exclusive. Guess what? They're now all out. Because I did say in my, in my last V-blog on Amiibo that they are shipped out and... People were getting them. Kind of missed the boat there, but again, whatever. Just hopefully, if I can get in on the long run, by just going in, seeing it in the store, and going out, that'll be great. Like again, Nintendo, you know, I'm giving, I'm trying to support you. I'm a Nintendo fan, but you're making it harder for me to give a reason to support you. And again, yes, they did say the reason. I'm just gonna say again, like I said before in my previous video on my last vlog, excuse. Or reason, you decide. Is Iwata just making excuses to cover his butt, or is he really telling the truth that this is a lot of things is happening? Again, hashtag you decide. Ah, uh, so anyway, with that, so I'm gonna give my thoughts about Nintendo Direct and what I think about it. Actually, it was pretty good. It was actually pretty good. It was interested. I was even surprised for some of the game they announced. So, let's see. First of all, they finally revealed the new 3DS that when it's going to come out. Of course, it was February the 13th. And it's only in Excel. And some of the people are not happy about it. And I did participate on the Social Link podcast about the 3DS Excel, I think. First of all, making a new version of the 3DS XL. I don't understand why not just... Why another version? I mean, they've done this before. Review Tech USA basically did an vid excellent video. In my opinion, it was good to watch. I'll link that in the link on the description about it. And again, it's a lot of time. The reason is pressure from third-party publisher to make something better so they can make games for it. Whatever. I talked about Nintendo. I did talk about 3DS, the new 3DS in the past. I, I'll, if I find that video, I'll put it in the link also. I mean, the only gripe I have really is, and not really for me personally, is that one, 
you're not giving people options because some people wanted the regular one because they have smaller hands, they like the changeable plate. Why aren't you giving them that option? I mean, Dan Baker, a guy who works for Nintendo, basically gave his reason. And I can understand the perspective of business, but at the same time, my reaction to that is, again, sorry for the, the language, but it's bullshit. Yep. You heard me. Bullshit. Because I think that's really ridiculous. <laughs> it's really ridiculous to some extent. That oh, because the 3DS XL sells. I mean, it does, I mean the 3DS XL did so well. But at the same time, what's happening is that, from what I heard, they were just quietly nobody's telling anyone that they were phasing out the original 3DS. So kind of shady business apart there. Come on, so. But I guess I'm mean, like as a Nintendo give people option, man. The the more you please your fans, your hardcore, you gonna they're gonna throw more money to you. And I know again, Dan Baker said it that when it comes to the hardcore fans, yes, we get it. The core gamers, we can't really please them, but their focus is on the common consumer because that's where you make your money not the fans because you're always going to have fans but they're not always a lot and that's actually the truth so it is an unfortunate decision what they did why they did it but again it is what it is you know it's their decision maybe in the long run they'll do it we'll see so I mean for me I'm fine with the 3DS X the new one the XL cause I like I like big things cuz I like I got big hands and I like the big screen. That's why I love my 3DS XL. Am I going to get the new one? Mm, maybe in the long run. Right now I really don't need it. I know there's a game that's I don't probably going to get Xenoblade Chronicles 3D and Nintendo. Don't be a jerk about it and like within six months to a year, all suddenly Xenoblade Chronicles disappear because you know what? You refuse to make a markdown. Even I bet you that game's gonna be sold more than a million worldwide. Whatever. Again, sorry for the language, but sometimes, as of right now, I kind of notice they're they're they act sometimes they business they're acting a bunch of dicks. Again, sorry about it, but it's just, it is, again. Uh, so, again, that's pretty in the long run. We'll see what happens. And, of course, I was shocked that Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask actually came out February the 13th. I thought it, I thought it was going to be in April, but well, whatever. Not really a fan of that game, Majora's Mask, but if I do have a chance, maybe I'll get it. So, again. So, next one is Fire Emblem. Apparently, there's a new one again. Still need to get the MS. I ain't, I'm not buying it for 40 bucks. That's too damn expensive. Maybe if it was on Best Buy and I had that five dollar, would maybe bite the dust. But again, you know, it wasn't there anymore. Bullshit. Yeah, again. I mean, it's still a target. 40 bucks still. It's too expensive, man. Whatever. I just have to wait for it. That's really the deal. So. Of course, Codename Steam. I seen it. I played the demo, and interesting that it has it has amiibo feature, and you're using the Fire Emblem character. And I think that's good news, and I think that's awesome because Bill Trenton actually did announce on Nintendo Direct that yes, we hear you about the March situation that they are planning. To make more Mart, so keep an eye on that if you missed it, like me. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. If I have to pay shipping and handling, so be it. Again, I'd rather pay just thirteen dollars, but again, whatever. So it is again, it is what it is. What I think about Code Name Steam, I played the demo. Yeah, it's okay, but it is basically Valkyrie Chronicles on the 3DS. And if you ever play Valkyrie Chronicle for the PS3, it's a good game. And it's also on Steam, so if it's on cheap, like 10 bucks, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. 
highly recommend it. It's a fun game. It may be hard. You do you can't you do can power up because there are some skimish battles. But I highly, highly buy buy the game. It is fun. I seen a lot of people buy uh, play it. Black Bond even played. You know the guy who basically likes to <laughs> criticize Nintendo, but he has his reason. Black Bond played it. He was good at it. I've been playing the PS3 version. I'm just halfway because that game is hard, but it's definitely fun. If you have a Steam account, get Valkyrie Chronicles. And anyway, back to code name, code name Steam. Yeah, good story. It is a Valkyrie Chronicle games. That's what I'm gonna say. And hey, heck, you get to play as Fire Emblem character with it with the amiibo. So there you go. So other game, Kirby the Rainbow Curse. Yeah, it's that other game with the DS, Kirby DS with the you make a line. Play the demo. Not really interested. Maybe in the long run, if it's <laughs> twenty dollars, but you know. Anyway, of course, with that, the of course in any Nintendo Direct now, ever since Amiibo came out since November 21st, Amiibo. Of course, like I said, I did talk about Amiibo in my previous blog. They did show um, like a new series, the Mario Brothers series. The only one I really care is Toad. I got it secured. Mostly, they're going to be focused on Mario Party 10. I'm not really gonna get Mario Party. T- <laughs> I'm not a Mario Party fan. I have we. I mean, I might buy Mario Party Ten if it's twenty dollars. Yeah, because I did it with the Wii Party, Wii U Party also. Got it really cheap, so it's a good game, casual game, play with friends. But of course, what about the Amiibo? Again, like I said before, in the previous video, I'll probably get in the long run. I willing to buy the dust for variant for Amiibo than Skylanders because then I can do more things about it especially if you need another Rosalina <laughs> there it is Rosalina and of course the Wario one because he does dress as his purple and yellow overall rather than the Wario wear but I prefer the Wario wear one but that's just me so again the Amiibos are cool Mario 10 maybe price drop but again, same flipping deal. They never price drop their game. I did talk about that with Ari's article on Nintendo too expensive. If you want to know about that? If I remember, it'll be on the description box. And if it's not, I'm trying to find, you can find it on the Gamer Horizon playlist. Or if you check out my second channel, it's also there. So, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles X. I still don't know what it is. I still have to play the original one. That's the only reason maybe why I would get I would get the 3DS X, the new one, so I can play you know, play Chronicles XL. So uh, okay, so what's the next one? Of course Amiibo. Oh they also showed the the fourth way for Smash Brother. Definitely, I'm gonna get those, especially the Fire Emblem, Pac Man, Wario, Ness. Oh, you know what? Take all of them, since there are only six. So, you know, again, yeah, cool. So, yeah, I mean, can't wait for those. Uh, let's see what happens again. Ah, uh, so anyway, let's see what else. Oh, Puzzle and Dragon. Uh, yeah, good casual game. You get two games for the price of one. You get Puzzle and Dragon and Puzzle and Dragon Mario Edition. And right now, here's the thing I'm gonna give my thoughts. Right now, the retailer posting they're saying it is forty bucks. Bullshit again. Sorry for the language. For a puzzle game, that's bullshit. Thirty dollars. I'll buy it for thirty dollars. But for forty dollars, no. Bullshit, I'm sorry. That's just wrong. Another game that I'm also waiting, I'm also a fan of this, and believe it or not, is Dino Fossil, or Fossil Fighter. I have the first one for the DS. I have fun with that. There is a third one coming this May, for, and it's 30 bucks. I'll definitely get that full price for 30 bucks. I'm cool with that. But again, Puzzle Dragon, if that's $40, you know what? That's bullshit. So, yeah, they showed good game. They showed some announcements. I was surprised, such as... Majora's Mask coming out 
actually, like last Friday, February the 13th, a new Fire Emblem. We'll see what happens. Of course, mention of new Amiibo, more information about some games. So, overall, it's okay. I, I do can. I do enjoy watching them. So hopefully if the next Nintendo Direct they'll ever do it better be much better than this one. So overall, worth watching a bit for some of the information. And again, a lot of business mistakes that's happening such as the 3DS. A lot of, I guess you can say, I don't agree with the... With the decision, they say like, "Oh, why no original one? Why limit to American?" I mean, uh, I don't know, man. It's just even mind mind boggling. And I did say that I did talk about to some of my friends about this theory, and uh, some of the theory basically is that Nintendo is not as big in the U.S. than it used to be before. I could be wrong, because remember I did talk to, or I was. I sent an email to Social Link Podcast about it, and one of the common things that people did say was, you buy Nintendo console to play Nintendo game, and Alex did respond by saying, that is true, but the problem is that that's becoming less and less, not everyone's doing it, a lot of people who do grow up in Nintendo, for some of them, basically said, forget it, I'm moving on. I'm still a Nintendo fan. I still support them. I know I got friends who used to be who loves Nintendo. Said, forget it. I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm moving on to either Microsoft or Sony. So uh, with that, those are my thoughts on Nintendo Direct. And the next one I'll be talking about is my thoughts on Club Nintendo ending. And I did talk about Club Nintendo before. That. W- on that V blog, there will be a link on that one because so I, don't, I have nothing much else to say. Just it is sad, but I'll give my thoughts about it. So see you there.